Good morning, everybody. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hurry up, don't we? Hurry up. <laughs> Turkey breast for Thanksgiving. How about that? Yay! But that is, but that is really messy. Well, it looks like it now, but after after a few hours, it's going to be cooked and just beautiful. So I thought a lot of y'all might want to do a turkey breast this year instead of the whole turkey. And this is a Cajun turkey breast that we're going to do in the crock pot. How about that? We're going to cook it in the crock pot. So it's so easy. It's just really unbelievable. So what we're going to do is the first thing is we're going to, first of all, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're continuing our Thanksgiving series, and we're just having so much fun. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put sliced onions down in the crock pot. Now, I've sprayed my crock pot. Yeah. Just a minute. I've sprayed my crock pot with some um, vegetable spray. And then, ding, ding. you know, these are just going to provide a nice ding, little ding. bed. Put do you have my cutter? I do have your cutter. I do. We don't need it right now, but we'll get it in a minute, okay? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going, I'm going to show you what we're going to do for the rub. Um, and really, if I were doing a whole turkey, this is exactly what I would do as far as the rub. Um, for a Cajun spiced turkey, mm. which that's what our family loves. So do you want to help me by pouring this in here? Okay. Okay. So how much butter was that and how much? A stick and a half of butter and about two tablespoons of Cajun and seasoning. stir it. We're going to stir it. Let's stir it with our fork and see. And well, I'm going to show you. You're going to paint it. You're going to paint the turkey. And, um, you know, if you want any other kind of seasoning, use whatever kind you like. We'll you could, I know. We like Cajun seasoning. And I'm telling you, this Cajun seasoning spices up turkey so well, doesn't it, Charlene? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You have a nice red shirt. Thank you. You have a nice red shirt, too. Oh. <laughs> Red is your favorite. Red's my favorite. Is it your favorite? Is it your favorite too? Yeah, I know. And okay. your favorite. And mommy's favorite. <laughs> what is that? Well, that is Cajun spiced butter. How about that? <laughs> so what we're going to do now is take our turkey breast. Now, you know, the turkey breast is not flat on the bottom. So what I did was I just made a little bed for it with this tin foil and um, to make it easier to do and now. I will paint that too. Yeah, we're going to paint the butter all to, over the to turkey. Together. together. Don't we love doing things together? So just paint, paint, paint. And this is going to make so much flavor into this um, bird. You're just, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. The first time... I don't really remember the first time I made a Cajun turkey turkey. Do you, honey? Uh-uh. But I remember everybody going, oh, my gosh, that is just so good. So, anyway, here we We're go. Painting. We are painting our turkey. Now, if I were doing... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so squishy. It is squishy. <laughs> wow. You know what I really need? I really need to go to the hardware store <laughs> and buy a paintbrush. Or just use your oh, fingers. Look, because I just broke this one. So. Oh, no. Yeah. You I'm, could just I'm, use your hands. I could. I'm, I'm going to use my hands, Nico, while you use that brush, okay? Mm -hmm. That brush is a little bit older, so it's actually um, better. Oh, and my cute little red brush. <laughs> so we're just going to rub it all over. Rub, rub, rub. And, and do that. <laughs> Are you making it tender? Yeah. So spread the butter and Cajun seasoning on both sides. Put the rest of your butter inside the bird. And one important thing to remember is to let the bird dry out in your fridge 
for at least four hours, even overnight, uncovered, and it'll make the side Daddy, of the bird. I want to do that too. Okay, dry, and then it'll spread much easier. So, so we put the turkey breast on top of our bed of onions and celery. Yeah. It's spread with all this yummy butter, Cajun butter, and then we put a cup of chicken broth in it and a tablespoon of vinegar. Okay, one and, cup of chicken broth. Sorry, I missed that step. Uh -huh. Just in there. And then a, a, a tablespoon of vinegar. And that kind of mimics if you wanted to cook it in wine, but I didn't have any. So that's what we did. And so then if you want to, you can make, now this crock pot happens to be pretty large. And I don't have to make a tent. But if you don't have one that's large enough to hold it, you can make a tent just by putting a little bit of tin foil over it before you put on the top. Now we're going to cook it until it's 165 <laughs> degrees in the middle. <laughs> 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 this has been such a fun morning. <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> don't ever stop laughing. So we're going to put it on low, let it cook, and then we're going to have this luscious turkey breast and some uh, fixings for our gravy. So I'll show it to you whenever it's cooked. How long does it cook? It cooks about six hours. I'm going to cook it between six, well, around six hours, I think would be perfect. But, you know, you can let it go on low until eight hours, and there's not a problem with that at all. Now, if you do want the skin to crisp up, after you take it out of the um, crock pot, just put it under the broiler for maybe about five minutes. But we don't care about that. <laughs> so we're going to just take it out and so serve it. So, <laughs> so anyway, here it is. Turkey breast in a crock pot with Cajun butter all over it. Onions and celery. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. Bon appetit and see you soon. Okay, y'all, so here's our beautiful turkey breast. It's been cooking away all day in the crock pot, and it smells so good. <laughs> it's got lots of juices that I can use to make the gravy, and I have been picking out a little bit. It's so tender and yummy. So if this is what you need to do this Thanksgiving, go right ahead. I think you'll love it. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all, and bon appetit.